So in this uh, discussion, we will see about objects, types and values. These are very uh, preliminary, but they are very important. Because if you understand this, then you will be able to program in a good manner. And these are generally uh, the hidden topics, but to be well understood. This is today's overview, strings and string output, input output we will see. Integers and integer input output we are going to see, type and objects, and then type safety. Input and output. In every program, you have to take some value from the user and you have to display it or return to the user also. And for that, you need some input output. And it is not only with the user. There can be some file in which you want to write something or you can read from some file or some to the some resources which is attached to your network. These things are inter, uh, input and output. In this particular example, these two means several values we are trying to output by a single statement. This is a single statement called C out and as you are aware, C out outputs or prints the internal string or the string literal to the user or to the screen. In this particular case, there are two statements which are or two string literal which will be shown to the desktop. A statement that introduces a variable is called a declaration. So this string first name is a declaration. First name is the variable name. So a variable it holds a value of a specified type. Which type? String. So string is a type of first name. First name is the variable and variable that is known as first name will only take value as string. This is the meaning of this particular uh, declaration or statement. Again, the final return zero, this is uh, optional in main, uh, but you may need to include it to specify your compiler sometimes. So what uh, this program does is only uh, accept the value or ask for the value from the user and it takes the value in the first name, this is first name is the variable and then output this value or this name with this hello. So whatever name is uh, entered, the output will be hello, that name. So as we discussed earlier also, these are, uh, these is the header file which we use. This is the header and this is your file, myfile.cpp. And hash include means you have to go to the uh, library. So this is an interface to the libraries or declaration and my code, which we just saw and my data. This is also very important. What is the data? This is the data. This is the data which we are talking about today. My code, my data and followed by the definitions. So input and type. What is this type? We read in some variable. The program we just saw, we read some something in this variable. And what was the variable name? First name. So this variable has to have a type. What is the type? This is string. String means combination of characters. So the type of variable de determines what operation we can do it. Like if it is integer, what we can do? We can add the integer. We can subtract integers. We can divide integers. So the type of a variable, it determines what operation can be performed on it. For example, in this scene, first name, this read characters until a white space character is seen. So this particular line or statement, what it does, it ex accepts the value from the user, whatever user is inputting from the keyboard. But up till that particular juncture where he is typing any white space. If he types enter, if he types space, if he, if he uh, hits a uh, tab, then the inputting will be stopped. So what are white spaces which are not seen in your 
you know in a text document with a various uh, spaces between two words there are various new lines page breaks and column breaks and all those things are called as new white spaces so string input as we have just seen that this program was uh, we discussed we discussed and now we are going to rediscuss it so reading first and second name now we have just read the first name you have seen the program just now so what it does see out means it accepts or it asks a request user to enter the first name as well as the second name first name will be taken in this first second name will be taken in this second and see in this is multiple reading first name will be read in first and the second will be read in the second and these two are nothing but string data type values or variables first and second are the variables of type string now what you can do is you can add this string you can also add this string and by which we mean concatenation concatenation means adding of two strings separated by a space because we have added a space we can directly add first plus second but but you already know that the name is written as like yane stostro the inventor of c++ yane is his first name stostro is his second name so there has to be a space in, in between that is why we kept a space and finally see out hello and this will be combined and this will be shown to the user so we have just uh, left that std lib facilities dot h just to save space uh, and concentrate on this particular program but in real code you have to write you have to include this and we have also uh, not written keep window open but you have to include it now coming to another data type which is called integer this is very important data type your name is written in only characters but what about your age age is not character it will be a number so when we change that program to some of this sort we expect the user to enter the name and the age name as we have just seen that we are defining or declaring a name or a variable name of type string but we have also introduced a variable called age but now it will contain the type what is the type integer so it will contain the type as integer this is how we read so in one line only of c c in you can read the variable of string type as well and also the integer and finally in a single line you can also output hello the first name is means the name which is entered by the user in in character form and also the age this is string return and this is these are the two values which are entered by the user and taken by age and first name so integer and strings strings see in what it does it reads a word see out what it does writes a word plus means concatenating means adding plus is equal to s this adds the string s at the end plus is equal to is nothing but plus is equal to is nothing but means a plus is equal to b that means a is equal to a plus b this is equal to this only so when we say plus is equal to s means we are adding s to the end of the string plus plus is an error minus is an error because this is not possible in string that is why there are different data types and and uh, explanation about that while we are discussing integer and floating point numbers 23 is an integer but if i say that i want a floating point then this is the floating point right 6 or 0 means there has to be some decimal value and if nothing is there as a fraction value you, you can write 0.0 decimal value there are called floating points where what c in does it reads a number c out again writes a number so the, both the task are same 
plus does not concatenate but it adds integer integral values are added decimal values are added and plus is equal to n means it increments the integer by n so it adds n to that particular value so if x is there it will be x plus n plus plus it increases uh, the value by 1 with a value 1 minus means subtract so these values they are much more in this in the similar fashion as we use in arithmetic but here you have to be very cautious so the type of variable which determines which operations are valid and what their meanings are for that that type and that is called overloading or operator overloading now coming back to names the name in a c++ pro program it starts with a letter the variable name we are talking about the variable name it has to start with a letter. It can contain letter or a digit or a underscore. There is only one possibility of special character which is only and by far it is also only possible that you can use only underscore. No other uh, character is allowed which is special character. So you can you have to start with a, with a um, letter and then you can have any letter or digit uh, combination along with this underscore. So these are some valid name of your variable but these are not the valid name. Why? Because it is starting from the digit. You have dollar which is not allowed. Only underscore is allowed. Main line this is not allowed because you are giving a space. Do not start names with underscores like underscore some name. Those are reserved for implementation system entities those system functions or entities or variable names they generally start with underscore so try not to use underscore uh, in the beginning because there are various combinations which you can work and the name should be uh, expressive enough to make you understand or other programmer to understand that what you mean when you declare a variable user can't define names that are taken as keywords like int if while double you can't use it and how to choose this meaningful name? Abbreviation and acronym can confuse people like TLA, MYW, NB. What is this? This will confuse you even after seven days of making a program. You revisit your program, you will be confused. So try not to use abbreviations and acronyms. And short names can be meaningful like uh, X or I. X is generally used for local variable i is generally used for loop index which is conventional which is generally known and used by far by the programmers don't use overly long names why to use overly long names like partial sum element sum this will you know take the space also and lot of writing typing consideration meaningful name means if the, the name impart some meaning it is good but writing these uh, too long is not good so this these kind of uh, names are not acceptable but this is same partial sum element counts staple partition this is good no problem but this name is actually equal to a sentence which is not acceptable now coming to a simple arithmetic what uh, this program shows is uh, it accepts a number a floating point number it prompts for a number and it will take this number in n this is double double is what it is a floating point data type and as we enter the number what we can do we can add number we can multiply it by three we are just incrementing by one now multiplying by three now whatever number is received we are making it twice which means n plus n then multiplying n with n then dividing by 2 and finally uh, trying to get the square root of the resultant. This SQRT is a library function and this slash n everywhere means a new line means the next result will come in a new line. Again a simple computation uh, we want to convert inch to a centimeter. We know that uh, the conversion ratio double cm per inch what is centimeter per inch 
is 2.54. This is a conversion factor. But as we know, this is this will remain constant. So we are trying to add this C or NST that will make this CM per inch this variable always constant. No change can be done to this variable in this program. And this is the data type of double. Now int length equal to one. So length is in inches. What this block does, this is a block which checks that if length is not equal to zero, length is not equal to zero, we ask for a length in inches. And once this uh, length is received, we just convert cm per inch into length. Means we multiply the value which is received by 2.54 and just output it. So this will go on and on and this a while statement, this is a looping construct. This while statement repeatedly executes until its condition becomes false. Its condition become false. This uh, length is equal to zero or not equal to zero because while needs an exit condition, this is entry control loop. So length is equal to zero is used to exit the program. We call this is a compound statement or a block. The values or the statements written in between this block are known as compound statement. Now types and literals. As we have discussed a lot about uh, these types and literal. Now let us see them uh, more formally. Built-in types are boolean, character, integer and in integer also we have short and long floating types we have double and in this double we also have float and there are certain standard library types called string complex scalar string and complex scalar in uh, built in types all these are there okay so let us take an example of boolean type bool can be uh, true and false Character types can be like this a x four slash n dollar. Integer types can be 0, 1. All these are integers. Again, hexadecimal is also an integer. Floating types means you have also you ought to have a decimal value here. And the standard library type string is like this, string literals, ASDS or howdy, all of you. Complex scalar, these are the complex literals. We, we are uh, trying to make a complex value like complex. And then double 12.3 and 99. These are the complex double value and these are the complex float value. We are going to discuss all these in uh, coming sessions. Now C++ provides a set of types as we have just seen boolean, character, integer and double which are called built-in types. And C++ programmer can also define new types which is called as user-defined types. We'll get there uh, um, in coming sessions. So the C++ standard library, it provides a set of types called string, vector and complex as we have just seen. The examples also we have seen. Technically, these are user defined data types also. So they are built using only facilities available to every user. How do we declare and initialize? Int A is equal to 7. This is how we declare a is equal to 7, B is equal to 9, character C is equal to A, C and notice the single you know uh, code on A, these are the single codes on A, that is why it is character double X is equal to 1.2, 1.2 is what? There is a point, there is a decimal value and string inside double quotes, please notice that string is always inside double quotes and 1.2 as normally you would see it as a as a double value but what once it, it is inside double quote it will be a string literal or declaration and initialization right so this is all for uh, this session but uh, this uh, uh, particular uh, topic we are going to cover just now okay thank you so much